Hi everyone, this is Derek here uh, with the continuing uh, series of videos to do uh, segmentation, targeting and positioning uh, using heuristic pattern data recognition. Uh, my first two videos was on introduction of SDP and then I did a video on segmentation uh, using cluster analysis, then a video on targeting using decision tree, and now this video is about positioning using multi-dimensional scaling. Now, before I begin, let me explain to you what is multi-dimensional scaling. Uh, multi-dimensional scaling is basically a means to um, visualize the level of similarity of individual cases uh, within our data set. Now, what does that mean is that uh, we want to find out uh, what sort of uh, important characteristics are, uh, or rather in characteristics that are important to a particular um, segment that we have identified or target that we have identified. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we want to understand uh, the the uh, important variables towards a certain segment so that we can position our offering, a product or even a service that will fit well with that particular target segment. Uh, technically, basically MDS refers to a set of ordination techniques. That means, you know, um, finding a unique uh, distances, uh, ordination or distances uh, used in information visualizations. It's just visualizing how far or how close a particular, um, if I may call it a uh, character or, or, or importance is towards a particular group. Now, in particular, uh, we want to display the information uh, using a continuous uh, distance matrix. Yeah, so you see the distance. So imagine we look something like this. Uh, how do we position ourselves with what people want? So let me just take a nice little thing here. Uh, these are what we call characteristics like fun rides, exercise, fantasy, good food, and so on and so forth. And then these are the uh, uh, places of interest or the uh, theme parks like marine land uh, here. Uh, Deer Park in Japan, Disneyland, uh, Knott's Berry Farm, Lion Country Safari, Bush Gardens, and Magic Mountain. And uh, we want to see if uh, what are the characteristics that are close to, for example, marine land. Now, marine land, of course, uh, maybe because there's not a lot of people, that's why there's little waiting time and they do a lot of educational animals. So these are very, very close towards marine land uh, Pacific. Uh, whereas in uh, Disneyland, you see fun rides, you see exercise. And for bush gardens, is very economical. So that's how they feel that it's very, very economical for them to go there. So knowing these characteristics and knowing how they sit within a particular segment or people that we want to target then we can position ourselves to ensure that we give the people what they want and how they feel towards uh, the products or services okay so multi-dimensional scaling as i mentioned uh, we're going to be using or rather i will be teaching you the um, uh, technical uh, LSCAL. Yeah, LSCAL uh, is what we call a non-metric, in some cases it's also metric, multi-dimensional scaling program or algorithm that uses this thing called the alternating least square algorithm. Okay, now in multi-dimensional scaling you have to understand, I'm trying to keep this as very simple as possible, uh, there is a matrix vector. Yeah, and this matrix vector is non-full. Uh, that means there are gaps within the matrix vector. So using LSCAL actually helps us to create a alternating least squares to complete that matrix. Yeah, I'll just leave it as that. I won't get too technical into it because what we're trying to do is when we complete that matrix, we're also trying to calculate what we call the Euclidean distances. Uh, that you see just now on that graph uh, to see how far or how close a particular characteristic is to a um, 
what what do you call a uh, a, a target that we want to segment that we want to uh, segment. Now, now in this manner, it means that uh, Euclidean distances can be seen as imagine if you have a uh, three dimensional graph, not the two dimension, but the three dimensional graph. You see, in a linear regression, if it's a two dimensional graph, it's a straight line, but Euclidean distance is a three-dimensional graph and therefore what is the straight line that looks at the distances between the closeness or the distance characteristics as well as the segment okay so I'm going to use this particular data set here called the Sunway Lagoon 2 now the Sunway Lagoon 2 has variables that use looks at revisit intention uh, physical environment here uh, outcome uh, interaction quality experience and program quality which is you know the programming quality and I've also created certain targets here called the uh, if you look at my segmentation video you will see how I created the segments uh, this segment is basically uh, the uh, 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 four different segments that I want to look at in creating what they want to do, uh, uh, what are important to them. So, for example, if segment one, I want to see what is important to segment one so that I can position uh, Sunway Lagoon or even create ads that will target Sunway uh, segment one. And then if they like the program for segment two, then I create more visuals that show the program for segment two. So basically I'm trying to figure out what is important to each of these segments individually using multi-dimensional scaling so that I can position my um, the same product differently to different targets. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to simulate it on SPSS. Okay, so here's my data set. Now, if you notice, uh, my data set now has the uh, demographic variables, as you can see, the characteristics, you know, revisit intention, physical environment, outcome quality, interaction, experience, and program. And I've also got my segmented uh, uh, people or segmented target. Now, this segmented target uh, shows three different segments. So now I want to see what is important to these three different segments using the um, multidimensional scaling. So I go to analyze and I go to scale and as I mentioned just now I'm using the ASCAL and I've also explained to you what ASCAL means. The variables that I'm using here are basically the quantitative variables. I try to use more quantitative variables when I do multi-dimensional scaling because then it's easier to calculate the distances there. And then the individual matrix, uh, if I can, I'm trying to create the uh, distance because you notice that if I don't do, uh, if I just do square matrix, it will just calculate the distances between these things. But I want to break up the uh, format to see the differences. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put everything into one. I'm going to put, you know, uh, each one. I'm going to create distances from data and calculate the Euclidean distance. Okay. Now under the options. Now I can have a difference between group plots, but I can also have a distance between uh, individual subplots. Now, you, it depends on what you want. Uh, sometimes you can have group plots or individual plots, but we can see the two and see the differences. So let's continue. That's okay. Now, as you can see, my data set here, it shows that I have uh, uh, the number of people, 54 for cluster 1, 97 for cluster 2, uh, and 67 for cluster 3. Then for my distances, I've actually created uh, the um, main cluster so you can actually see the whole thing at one go. So I'll go back to my PowerPoint and show that to you. There you go. So if you notice that this one is 
the Euclidean distance for cluster 1. Now, look at cluster 1 here. What is right at the very corner at the top, because this is the high, this is the high, it is actually physical uh, environment quality. So for cluster 1, they put very high importance on physical uh, environment quality. So the people who visit um, uh, Sunny Lagoon actually put physical environment quality quite high. And you also notice that the religious intention is very low, which goes to show that probably these cluster of people found that the physical environment was not so good because they placed so much of uh, hope on it that their religious intention is so low. The rest are not that important to them. Okay. And if we look at cluster number two, their revisit intention is high, probably because for them, they don't put too much importance on physical environment quality, but they put more intent, uh, uh, um, what do you call this, positive uh, thing on program, experience, and outcome quality. So a very holistic, uh, non-tangible uh, uh, expectation, whereas cluster one, really really looks at the tangible expectations so very very different uh, clusters here uh, if you want to look at cluster 3 i can also show you cluster 3 cluster 3 has high physical environment quality as well uh, they also put a lot on outcome quality although it's on the this this part here but for them, they feel that outcome quality is also a very important thing uh, uh, as compared to physical environment quality. So this is how you uh, show and position your uh, clusters. So if I can say, I can put here that cluster one puts uh, importance on physical environment quality cluster 2 puts more importance on non tangible which is the uh, interaction the program and the outcome quality so and uh, cluster 3 really probably just want to have a good time because they really put um, outcome quality very, very high. Yeah. So with this fast analysis, I think we are able to now uh, tell the management of Sunway Lagoon that uh, if you want to find out who these people are, if you can, you can look at the targeting to look at who are these clusters. Yeah, by looking at the demographic uh, makeup and then decide how to place physical environment quality. So for example, if the demographic makeup of these people are more uh, family oriented people, then show the safety of the physical environment quality for this family oriented people. You can have that one uh, target and then the next on the second and also the third. So this is how you create uh, multi-dimensional scaling using cluster, uh, sorry, using, um, uh, sorry, this is how you create positioning using multi-dimensional scaling. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please uh, do not hesitate to ask me. Uh, I'm going to produce another video that talks a little bit about uh, conjoint analysis. And I will uh, hope that you will see that video. Thanks so much.